Today, I am gonna test out eight viral TikTok photo shoot hacks in three different locations. Maybe I'll get some super hot new Instagram pictures or maybe they'll suck. I don't know, but we're gonna find out together. Also, super excited to be partnering with ThreadUp on this video. I've been working with ThreadUp on my channel for a long time now, and I've, I've been a customer of them even longer. ThreadUp has always just been like the easiest way for me to do some thrifting without actually having to leave my house. <laughs> and it's good for the planet, it's good for my wallet, and oh my gosh, the fact that I could actually filter by my size for secondhand clothes, game changing. And ThreadUp has now made it even easier with their new Thrift the Look page. Y'all, I'm so freaking excited about this feature. It's just very, very cool. <laughs> so you just find an outfit that you love on the Thrift the Look page, you click it, and ThreadUp will show you a whole bunch of items that they have in stock that match the original look. So now you can recreate the looks you love sustainably with thrifted items that match the photo. So here are a few new looks that I got using the thrift the look feature. Okay, so here is my first outfit. I wanted to recreate this look. Little purple cardigan, distressed medium wash jeans. And with ThreadUp's thrift the look feature, I was able to find perfect items in my size and this whole outfit was under 50 bucks. I am living for the little details and embellishments on this cardigan. I think it's so cute. From the brand Carol Little and I got it for over 70% off estimated retail. Estimated retail price was $89, but the thread up price was only $23.99. So freaking cute and unique. And then the jeans, actually, I think I'm gonna tuck the cardigan into the jeans one second. They are old navy, nice high rise, straight leg, excellent condition, and uh, for 26% off estimated retail. All right, second new outfit, recreating this look from thread up's thrift the look page. I got this little button front mini skirt from City Chic, and it's actually brand new, like, tags still attached and everything. Original price was $59, but thread up price $18.99. And then this top, I love. I'm really feeling like the, the sheer sleeves. It's actually from thread up's own remade line and it was $16.99. And then we have the Vera Bradley little black mini crossbody bag, $21.99 on thread up, originally 60 bucks. Okay, and then also with this outfit, like the original photo, I did get a pink jacket. This pink to Tahari blazer was 75% off and brand new with the tags still attached. And I am just absolutely having my Elle Woods moment in this. But here's the thing. I think I like this outfit better without it, especially these sleeves. Like I just, I don't know if I want to cover them up, but I do love this blazer. I'm so glad that I got it. And I actually have another idea for how to style it. So stay tuned for that later in the video. And then I wanted to get like an, a bright spring dress, like the one in this inspiration photo and ThreadUp showed me a bunch of great secondhand options in my size. This is the one that I went with and oh my gosh, is it just exceeding all of my expectations? I feel like Belle, first of all. <laughs> Super cute little wrap detail, tie waist, very flowy. I want to twirl in it. Um, the brand is Old Navy. I got it for $19.99, originally 40 bucks. So excited about these outfits. Highly, highly recommend the thrift, the look feature. It's just so cool. So if you want to try it out for yourself, there is a link in the description and if you use my code Sierra S, you can get $10 off orders over $50 plus free shipping on your first order. So thank you ThreadUp and uh, let's go test some hacks and put these outfits to work in front of the camera. Okay, so for our first photo shoot, I'm thinking like downtown vibes, gas lamp district of San Diego, very street style. And I've got three really popular hacks to try that I think will work really well in this kind of setting. These first three are specifically for iPhones and they have been all over my my for you page. Later, we're gonna try some too with like my big DSLR with my Sony camera that I usually take Instagram photos on. But I think these iPhone ones in particular are gonna be really good for this style of shoot, or at least that's what TikTok has made me think. <laughs> Anyways, the hack. Oh, also uh, I'm gonna link all of the original TikToks that I'm testing in the description. Definitely check them out and uh, support those creators. Okay, so first this hack is for taking photos against a tall background, like a building. You click the wide angle lens and then turn your phone to the side and you're actually gonna do a panorama mode to capture more of the actual background. Let's try it. Okay, so we're in downtown San Diego. Plenty of big buildings to choose from for the background. So I think we're just gonna give it a try here for the first time. I was practicing. <laughs> do you like it? Oh my God. 
This is a great reminder that I need to stand very, very still during the panorama. Also, maybe they did it from behind for a reason because then I don't have to worry about keeping my face still. There you are, Jess. Okay. okay, so this this isn't working out too well on her first couple tries. But here's the thing. I went back and I looked at the original TikToks for this hat, and one of them did wide angle like we're doing, and the other one used the regular camera. So I'm thinking maybe it won't be as distorted with the regular camera. So we're gonna try that. How do we do? Pretty good. Oh my god. Okay, so I think I think the way to do it is the the regular size camera, but the buildings still look a little distorted. Let's try it on this building, the shorter one. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I have American Girl doll legs. <laughs> I mean, it technically works. I'm not I'm not jumping up and down about this hack though. I feel like there's better ways to get shots with tall buildings, like perhaps just standing a little bit further away. It's pretty tricky to keep that arrow on the panorama line, and then especially in like a busy city setting like this, it's hard to focus on. So I, this this hack's getting a thumbs down from me, but I don't know, you try it, you let me know if it works better for you. Next hack is using live photo mode for street style shots. This looks really freaking cool. Like I want this to work so badly. I feel like the only hard Hard part will be like staying really still, holding your pose. That way I don't get blurred out with the long exposure, but I, I think this could be really, really cool for like busy street shots. See, I told you I had a really cute idea for this blazer, right? <laughs> I paired it with uh, the Old Navy thread up jeans, little white sneakers, white cami. Now for this hack, I just need to pick a pose and stick with it, right? Because I need to stand really, really still. Really still. Okay. <laughs> and I have to be really still. <laughs> Okay, so I don't think I was standing still enough, or maybe, I feel like this would be a better hack with a tripod. Okay, I really like these photos on their own, but with the long exposure, I'm also blurry with the background, so let's try it again, and I'm just gonna try to be even stiller. Long exposure. Dang it, I'm still blurry. Oh, in the in the TikTok, the girl was leaning against something. Should I try that to like give me stability? Yeah, we could try over here. Why don't you look up a little bit? That's cute. Okay, now not only am I blurry, but I look really awkward posing with that pole. All right, back in the car now, going through the photos. And here's the thing, we, we did eventually get one where I wasn't blurry and it looks really cool. Like I don't want to discount how cool it does look with the long exposure, but I just feel like this hack isn't practical. Like having to stand so still, having to have the person taking the photo stand so still. We probably took a hundred photos and I think two of them, like it actually worked. Plus I think standing so still, like I, I look pretty stiff in the photos, but then we just took some normal photos after. And even though I don't have the cool long exposure effect in the background, I still prefer these ones because I just look more comfortable in front of the camera. So this hack, uh, it's gonna be a no from me, but it's cool that the iPhone can do that at all. I didn't even know that. The next hack seems really simple, but from the TikTok at least, it seems like it really changes the composition of the photo. So you switch to the 0.5 lens and then get down on a really low angle and flip your phone. That way the camera is closest to the ground. And this is just supposed to give like a much cooler, more dynamic shot. And as an influencer, I feel like a lot of the times, I, I don't like when my feed looks the same, like all the photos look very similar, same angle, similar background. So I feel like this could be a good way to kind of spice it up. Up a little bit, but let's see. <laughs> so we took one set of photos like I normally would, that way we had something to compare it to, and then some with the flipped phone, wide angle. And in the moment, looking back at these photos while we were in the location, I didn't feel like there was that big of a difference. I liked both sets of photos, but now I'm at home, I'm editing the photos, and I feel like the photos with this hack look so much cooler. <laughs> and you can really see the difference, like the wow factor with this hack. When I put these two photos in the same same pose side by side. The one with the hack just pops so much more. I think it would really stand out on an Instagram feed too. So I'm gonna say this hack is a winner. Location number two, we are heading to the flower fields for some dreamy artistic springtime photos that I think this next hack is so perfect for. I've seen people do this with dandelions, with flowers, but basically you just tape them around the lens of a big DSLR camera like this. So they frame the subject and it looks like you're shooting through the flowers. So instead of taping the flowers directly to the lens, we decided to make a sleeve with gaff tape and that actually worked out pretty well. Yeah. 
It did take quite a while to figure out just that perfect arrangement of flowers around the lens. It was pretty finicky, but once we got it, I mean, we got it. I, I think this hack is a winner. I love these photos. I am so skeptical of this one, but supposedly, according to this TikTok, which by the way has 1.1 million likes, you wrap a pair of tights around your camera lens, you pull it tight, you secure it with like a hair tie, and it gives this like whimsical, dreamy filter effect. Not sure how this is actually gonna work, but I, something in me believes, maybe it's because of the 1.1 million likes. Okay, so with the first round of photos, I realized that the nylons weren't quite tight enough around the lens, and so it was a little too filtered. So we actually added two more hair ties. So we have one here keeping all the tension from the lens, another one here to keep it from riding up, and then this one here to kind of uh, secure our tail, I guess. And now I feel like they look so freaking cool. <laughs> the only thing is, definitely wanna use manual focus with this one because uh, sometimes the camera on auto was focusing on like the actual nylon. I ended up doing really minimal editing to these photos because I mean, wow, like they look edited just right off the camera. This hack worked out so well. Definitely give it a try. And it worked the best for me when I was in direct sunlight. Next hack is for editing. And supposedly this very specific combination of settings within just the iPhone photos app, supposedly this combination makes every photo look really freaking cool. And it's not just this creator. I've seen so many people use these precise adjustments and it always looks really cool. But again, a little skeptical because I feel like for me, when I'm editing photos, I really tailor it to the, the specific photo. I edit photos very differently depending on the lighting, the backdrop, like the colors of my outfit. And it's hard for me to believe that just one exact preset will work for all photos, but let's find out. Okay, so I have a couple unedited photos from the flower fields that I'm gonna try with this edit combination. So I'm supposed to set it to 100 exposure for like for the reveal and then we take that off. Brilliance 100, highlights negative 35, shadows negative 31, contrast negative 33, brightness negative 15, black point 11, saturation 11, vibrance nine, and now we turn the exposure back to zero. <laughs> I like the tones of the photo, but I feel like this is way oversaturated. Or I guess not really saturation, because the saturation wasn't set that high, but probably the combination of like the maxed out brilliance and the low highlights, it <laughs> kind of looks like how I used to edit my photos in middle school on Photo Bucket. Um, I'm gonna try, let's turn the highlights down. That's a little better. Maybe brilliance down. A, oh, I like the brilliance all the way up. Saturation down. I, I feel like I like this. Okay, so I'm gonna try the same thing with two more photos from the flower fields. Okay, exposure back to zero. This one looks pretty cool. <laughs> Still a little oversaturated for my taste, but I feel like it worked better for this one. It definitely makes the colors pop. Like if you want a really vibrant photo, I feel like this, this looks pretty great. For my personal taste, I do just like it a little bit more muted. Okay, and now the third one, turning that exposure all the way back down. Again, looks pretty cool. Let's, see, I'm gonna revert it back to the original. We'll see how much it changed. Okay, so it makes a big difference. <laughs> Wait, can I undo? Bring it back. Well, I guess I can, I guess I can just re-input the numbers, but. Okay, I like this hack. I think it's cool. It's a great jumping off point if you're just wanting to make your photos really vibrant, do some color editing just within the Photos app on your iPhone. Usually for my Instagram photos, I just edit completely on my iPhone. So I do use the Photos app like this, and then I'll also add a filter on Visco. I'm gonna keep 
keep this hack like in my wheelhouse if I'm if I'm ever having a photo that is just not looking quite as vibrant as I want. It's a pretty cool combination. So I'm gonna say it works, but for my own personal taste, I'd still be tweaking it a little bit and probably still add a filter in Visco. And our third location, we're heading to the beach. This hack, honestly, this hack makes me feel kind of stupid that I have never thought of this before because it seems so simple. So many times I have wanted to take like a cute carefree splashing water at the camera photo. And it just never really works out because I, I'm worried about getting the camera wet. This guy just puts his phone in a glass. If this works, game changing for your basic summer girl Instagram. <laughs> All right, we've got a beach. We've got a glass. <laughs> And we've got a phone, let's do it. So I'm thinking, I sit on my knees here, like kind of close to shore, but like right where the waves are coming in. Wait for a big wave to come. I splash at Jess with the camera. Beautiful, perfect 2014 Tumblr dream. <laughs> All right, we're about to try it again. But um, in the original video, that creator had the phone on self timer. And I feel like that's a little ambitious to like time it that perfectly. So instead, I think we're gonna try putting the camera just on video in slow motion. And then I can take the exact screenshot of that perfect moment. I feel like we figured out a lot of the logistics to this, but this hack is definitely not as just like clear cut solves the problem as I thought. If I was alone, that jar would be pretty much like full of water at this point. Jess was covering the top of it with her hand to keep the water from getting in. So that worked. But then at that point, it's like, would it be better to just have Jess hold the phone and then move it right before it gets wet? I don't know. Also the jar does kind of distort the image a little bit, but it's kind of adding like a cool filter effect. So I, I actually don't mind at all. <laughs> It's a fun day at work. So the water splashing photos didn't really come out that well. We took some more photos of me on just my regular photo camera and I like these ones way better. I did one splashing up, but just not directly at the camera so I didn't get it wet. And some just standing and these are actually my favorite even though I didn't even get the cool splashing effect we were going for. But what I actually think this hack is great for is video, especially in slow motion. Like this looks so cool and we wouldn't have been able to get that shot without the glass. And even the kind of like wet, foggy view through the jar that I didn't like in the photos, I think it adds something to the video, like that soft, almost angelic effect. Okay, I saved this one for last because I have really high hopes. I think it could be really cool. It's very artistic. So you cut out a quote into a piece of paper and then you hold that up to the light so that it casts the quote onto you. So freaking cool. <laughs> So we've got our words cut out and I wanted to try this at home before we went to the beach so I could make sure it actually worked and I don't need any other supplies with us. And here's the test photo we took, which actually I think works really well. It looks pretty cool, but my whole body isn't shaded. And I feel like if we could get everything shaded except for the letters, it'll pop even more. So that, that's what we're trying to figure out now. So we're gonna tape it to this big piece of cardboard so that this can block out the rest of the light, hopefully. Yes. Is, is it fully covered? Oh, yay. I don't know why we're whispering. Okay, just to look at that. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, let's go to the beach, let's go to the beach, let's go to the beach. Favorite hack of the video by far. Oh my gosh, I, I just love the results. And that phrase, be kind to your body, is just so special to me. It's changed the way that I think about myself, that I treat myself. I mean, I say it at the end of every video. So it was really cool and really special to me to be able to incorporate that into the photo. All right, y'all, that is gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know down in the comments which of these hacks you think came out the best. Also, I wanna give another big thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video, supporting my channel. There's a link in the description. Definitely check out their new Thrift the Look feature. And if you do wanna place an order, remember to use my code Sierra S so you can get $10 off orders of $50 or more plus free shipping on your first order. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I'll see you next time. Bye!